Hello, 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 and good morning, boys and girls. It is 9 a.m. in the morning, and it is Sunday, the 7th of the month, and we're doing some shop and pays to start off this day. I'm glad that I got a shop and pay on the first one, because that means I'm probably gonna be in the queue for shop and pays all day, and I don't mind doing shop and pays, because everything's in the same exact box to collect everything, you know, the store. All right, so I'm gonna grab a bunch of sodas right now. I gotta grab 16 items here. I've only grabbed three right now. Then we're gonna go ahead and check this out and this pays $16.75 for the first order, so let's go. Hope you guys are smashing it out on Sunday and you guys are making your money out there also. For those of you that are brand new here, what's going on? My name is Richard with Sin City Deliveries and on this channel, I've been covering Top Dasher, Large Order Program, Red Card, Pizza Program, all the incentive programs to help us Dashers make more money out there off of the DoorEdge platform. So if you're brand new here and you're into that type of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video to help other people out there on the road. Pretty much have grabbed all the items that I need to grab. This is what it looks like. And then the last thing is going to be chicken fingers, which these things, oh man, these look good at 9 a.m. in the morning. And a big thing of mixed chicken here. So I'm gonna grab those and let's go drop this food off. It's a nice windy day at 39 degrees outside. So the windshield makes it like 25. Last item. <clears throat> oh, almost fell there. I think everything will balance on that good enough all right thank you so much for the Albert's order appreciate it nice just got 17.25 for that so that went up by 50 cents because they added one item onto it when i was headed to the store to go pick it up so that's cool that you know as customers do add-ons to shop and pays that the uh base pay or the pay for the order goes up by 50 cents maybe per item maybe and right back to albertson's for another shop and pay you see it's 9.33 right now this one's gonna pay 32.25 we do have to pick up like 26 something items but it's okay not bad for uh, 30 something bucks at 9 30 in the morning let's go this is the first time i've seen a customer order a mr beast bar mr beast collab last item added to the cart five starbursts i actually couldn't get that mr beast bar because it was the wrong size bar they wanted a larger one this was all the items that i had to get for checkout not too bad at all very simple easy drop off at the door here got to leave enough room for this swinging door to open don't want to block their front door thank you so much for the order enjoy your albertsons I completed the shop and deliver on that order in 30 minutes, 10.04 right now. Let's see what else we can snag out there. So far, so good on two Albertsons orders. Let's go. Albertsons is just the best right now. 10.13, we got another order, 16.50. We do have to grab 18 items on this one. It's a little bit high. It took me 15 minutes to grab everything. It's only because the uh, chicken, there's a little bit of a hiccup. They didn't have any diced chicken and she wanted a bunch of chicken. And in the app, it says she wants three pounds. And then when you say it's unavailable, it says she wants 16 pounds. And then I call her and she says, no, I need uh, six pounds. So all messed up there, but at least we were able to get a conclusion with this. So let's go check it out real fast and go get paid. It says to leave the food up on this table right here and not on the ground. Biggie bam, just like that, all on the table. Thank you very much, appreciate the offer. We got a wind advisory in effect for Nye and Clark counties because yeah, it is super windy and super cold outside right now. Everybody in Las Vegas, hey, be safe out there. Been out here for an hour and 45 something minutes or so. We're sitting at $66 in three orders off of this Albertsons here, which is not bad at all. I'm sitting in the parking lot just waiting for another Albertsons to come in and hopefully we continue these shop and pays all day. All right, it's time to get some pizza right now. Pizza Slut is our next order here. We're gonna get three big dinner boxes is what this dude ordered and a bunch of two liters. It says 675 plus, so let's go run it and see what we get. And this is a hand to me customer. So I gotta hand them their drinks and this big pizza. Look, it doesn't even fit in the entire pizza bag. And the guy that works at Pizza Hut there was like, oh, I can see the full tip. You're gonna get five bucks on this. So I wonder if I'm gonna get a $5 tip. It said 675 plus, which means this should come out to seven bucks total. Yep, looks like he can definitely see the full tip. Now I know Papa John's is like that because I'm pretty good with the general manager at one of the Papa John's that I've always pick up at and he can see the full total. So he'll tell me like kind of what orders are in the system. Not saying that I can get the orders, but he can like show me what's there, which is pretty cool to see. Oh, it's getting so windy outside. Don Tor Taco Mexican food. Mexican grill is going to be our next order here. It's going to be for $6.50 and got to run it over to an apartment real quick. All right, enjoy your Don Tor Tacos. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Papa Pies. What can I get started for you? Hello, I have a pickup order for Eric. Sorry, sorry, you can pull forward, please. Alright, thank you. Thank you. So this is a Popeye's kitchen. I think it said $7.25 plus to go drop this off. It's a 12 piece and an 8 piece with a few drinks and some fries. So it might go up to 10 bucks. Well that one was nice. There was no wait. Literally just drove up to the window. He handed me the food. Let's go drop it off. Leave enough room for the door to swing. Enjoy your Popeyes, thank you. Hell yeah, $13 on a Popeyes. And that Popeyes smelled really good. I do like Popeyes. You know, not all the time, but every once in a while, Popeye's chicken is pretty damn good. Well, that wasn't a bad two and a half hours out there. I'm already sitting at $92.50. So, so far, so good. Let's keep continuing this on and uh, let's go for that $200 plus day today. What is this car doing? Like, you're gonna go five, you're gonna go 
two miles an hour on a street? What are you, what are you doing? Look at this, eight miles an hour on a road. Like what the hell do people think? More pizza time, we gotta go to Papa John's here. Except we're not getting pizza, we're getting the Papa Bowls. I don't even know what a Papa Bowl is. Another hand to me customer for some pizza. So I'm gonna go hand them their two pizzas and their little drink right here. And top right of the screen is what I got paid for dropping off this pizza order, nice. We gotta go to Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Pick this one up, six seventy-five. dollars Leave at the door, yes I will. There's your sandwich, there is your schmoovie. Enough room for it to swing, thank you, appreciate it. Next order coming in here is Orizaba Scratch Mexican Grill, 14 bucks to drop this off. I need three hands to pick up all of this stuff, so I can't do it. So this is what I got paid for dropping off this order. Should be 14 bucks. Leaving that order, just got a Pizza Hut. So we're gonna head over to Pizza Slut real quick and pick up a 725 plus Pizza Hut. All right, dropped off the wings to the customer here. He's doing his lights out here, like picking up all of his Christmas lights and all that. So that's what I got paid at the top right of your screen for dropping off this order. Pretty sweet. BJ's Brew House is gonna be our next order here. This one's 1275 plus. It's 10 items. It did say it's a catering order. So this one might be a nice little banger. Hopefully so. Another hand to me customer here. I gotta grab that bag and all of these drinks that are in my hand right here and go drop it off at the customer's house. So top right of your screen is what I got for dropping off this BJ's order. Not a super banger on the BJ's there. 15 bucks, still good. Cafe Rio, Mexican Grills next, 825 plus. Let's see what we get on this one. Leave at my door. There you go, enjoy all your food. Thank you so much. Very nice, 23.22, let's go. Dank stop for two orders here. I got one first for $7, and then as I was driving here, it gave me one for $6 plus. So let's go drop both off and see what that six plus turns into. All right, dank stop. First chicken wings at the door. Enjoy your chicken wings, thanks so much. This dank stop right here is a hand to me customer. So I'm gonna ring the doorbell and top right. So what I got for dropping off this one, ring. Round number two at BJ's. This is an $8.75 plus. It's dinner time right now. It's about 4.15 or so. So let's kick it off. Let's see what happens for this dinner shift. All right, this BJ's order here is a leave at the door. There's a few fences I gotta go through here. So top right of your screen is what I got to drop off this order. Not too shabby. Zebra cakes. Dude Wipes 3-pack, Gold Peak Sweet Tea, times four. That's how you get $16.50. Let's go. Quick pit stop for some gas. We're paying uh, $3.54 and 9 tenths to fill it up. Let's see how much uh, how much it costs to top off the tank here. 5711, 16.092 gallons. More pizza deliveries. Hungry Howie's Pizza. Let's go pick this one up. $7.50 plus to drop this off. More pizza for a hungry, hungry customer. Let's go ahead and uh, knock and ring. We gotta go ahead and hand it to him. Panda Express. I think this is the first Panda Express we had to get pick up today. It's a six seventy five plus. Enjoy your Panda Express. Thank you so much. Munchies frozen yogurt. This one's just a six dollar run, and it's going to the neighborhood literally right there. You can see that neighborhood houses. Frozen yogurt time. That looks like a good spot to place it. All right, me here. Enjoy your yogurt. Thank you. Back to Panda Express for round two. This one's gonna pay eight bucks. Panda Express is a hand to me customer, so let's go ahead and ring their doorbell and hand it to him. Top right of the screen is what I got paid for dropping off this one. Oja Japanese Steakhouse Sushi and Hibachi is going to be the next run here. 725 plus is what it said for this one. Let's get this Oja dropped off. This is a very nice house. A bunch of Corvettes sitting in the driveway, some Cadillacs. Top right of your screen is what I got for dropping off this order. Wow, 3345. What a banger from Oja. Let's go. And on our way to Thai Spoon for a 1350. Let's go drop this one off real quick. Thai Spoon arriving at your door. Enjoy your Thai Spoon, thank you. Chipotle Mexican Grill. This one's going to be a $6 plus. Chipotle arriving at the door. Enjoy your Chipotle meal, thank you so much. Well, today wasn't too bad of a shift. It's 8.07 at night right now. Time to cash that money out that we made today. Let's go. If you guys use an all point ATM, these guys right here, and you've got the Dasher Direct card, you can cash your money out for free. I think today was an awesome shift. So let's go mix down the numbers on the DoorDash PNL report, and we're gonna see how many miles I did, how many deliveries I took, how much money I made today, and what all the final expenses were. If this is your first time seeing the DoorDash 2024 PNL report, you can get your own personal copy of this report in the description below or also pinned to the top of the comments. Before you can make any edits on this form, you will need to click on file and make a copy, and then you have free will to edit whatever you want on this page. We're going to go ahead and jump over to Sunday right here, the 7th. That is the day that I just worked. And the amount of deliveries I did today was 23 deliveries. The amount of money I earned off that 23 deliveries was $305.28. What a banger day today. The amount of miles I drove out there was 127 miles. That gives me $2.40 per mile on average that I was earning out there on my deliveries. Now you're gonna have to convert your dash time and your active time to a decimal point. At the top of the sheet here, you can click on a time to decimal calculator. 
and it's going to bring you to a web page here and you can go ahead and type in how many hours and minutes you worked and it will convert it into a decimal point so for instance if you worked two hours and 45 minutes don't worry about the seconds you would come out to 2.75 hours and that's the number that you would type into the PL report here i've already done the conversions for myself so my dash time out there i was out there for 11 hours and no conversions need to be done on that just 11.0 and the amount of active time I was out there was for seven hours and 20 minutes. And if you convert that to a decimal, that comes out to 7.33 hours. Now, that means I was earning an average of $27.75 per hour today, dashing out there. And I also earned $13.27 per order was the average. I did have to get some gas today. So my gas expense for today was $57.11. I did not get any food today. Uh, I actually came back f home for lunchtime and I just made a sandwich. <laughs> so no expenses for food today. I didn't have any miscellaneous expenses. So I didn't go buy like toothpaste or go buy a new t-shirt or some new socks or just any random money that kind of empties out of your wallet or your checking account. You'd go ahead and fill out in the mis miscellaneous box. The maintenance tab here, if you had any maintenance done on your vehicle or you bought air fresheners or you had anything that has to do with the vehicle, you'll go ahead and fill out on the box here, you know, what your repair was, you got your front brakes uh, fixed, you had to get a new spark plug, you know, whatever it is, and you go ahead and type in the cost right here. So now after expenses today of $57.11 for gas, I, I grossed a total of $248.17 for today. And I don't think that's very bad for a Sunday. I mean, Sunday, obviously, yes, we should be making a lot more money out there. You know, it is the weekend, a lot more families ordering food. So I hope you guys are very much capitalizing on those types of times so that you can earn a higher dollar amount out there than uh, say, you know, on a Tuesday when not much is going out, uh, going on. Hope you guys do appreciate the spreadsheet and the form right there. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Take care of yourselves and be safe out there on the road.